Briz. Like, like, what did you rent out Saddam Hussein underground house or something? Where the hell are you, bro? Look, my nigga, that Mook situation is mad long ago, and I don't understand why you're not here. I spoke to Briz right after everything happened, right? This is how he actually feels. He feels like, number one, everyone played him and tried to make him look like he was a sucker, and he wasn't feeling that. He feels like the media, we all concentrated on him running towards the door, but we didn't concentrate on him actually coming back. He said the reason why he ran was because he didn't want to get stomped out. He said when Blackface caught him, that really that really rattled him. He was seeing stars and he didn't want to get stomped out. That makes total sense right there. He feels like, and I'm just telling y'all what our conversation was, because if you think about it, it's not enough to make the nigga not come back from battle rap. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about um with the Mook situation. He's still saying that he didn't know about his mom, but he's looking at it like, this is an example he gave me. He was like, yo, how's my mom's doing? I said, I don't know. I don't I don't know. He said, exactly, that's my point. I'm not doing research on niggas' moms when I make a mom joke. Now, Briz, I got to be real with you. Just the fact that T-Top liked that post, I mean, it is what it is. That you have to eat that one, bro. It just is what it is. Unless, unless T-Top going to eat it for not telling you, it's not like he didn't know. So you can't get around that. But what I'm saying is this right here, my nigga. Like, Kayshawn is calling you out. Kayshawn Buds is on fire. Like, you need to come back. You need to stop playing and come back. Damn that everybody in battle rap has gone through some shit where they look crazy. My nigga, for sure to keep battling after that whole proof situation, there's no reason why you shouldn't be battling right now. There's no reason why you shouldn't be battling. And you need to stop playing. Because don't know about... I want a, I want a machete bar. When am I going to get a machete bar from you, Briz? You can't just sit here and say, yo, I'm not coming back if it's not moving. Niggas is not going to suck your dick to watch you battle, which is, is what it is, my nigga. I got to keep it real with you. You playing yourself. For all we know, Shug just took your spot at the BET Awards. Then you come in with T-Top? So why that couldn't have been you? You and T-Top made it to the finals on UFF. So obviously, BET liked you or the judges. However that works, your style was made for BET. You, you could have been there. You could have been there. Stop playing, my nigga. Ain't no, I didn't even know you didn't come back yet. Like, what the fuck? I thought you had been, like, came back and was scheduled for. Like, you better get on the next card, man. Because I'm going to be real with you, B. I would not be sitting here basing, because a, a big part of your life is bad rap. All right? Let me tell you, niggas, something. Because a lot of y'all niggas be making it seem like, oh, I'm making music. Battle rap is a very big part of your life, son. A very big part. You have a lot of networking. You're getting a lot of money. Why are you stopping that just because fans got on your back? You know what I mean? Niggas got, got, come on, son. Come on, son. Niggas didn't, didn't got caught with trannies, all kinds of shit. And they kept battling. You can't just jump up and be the guy who's in his feelings because that's what it is at this point. If you ain't come back yet, you still in your feelings, bro. You got to come out that bridge. You battled your way to the top. Not even just battled your way to the top from a reason that wasn't even lit. Come on, son. You know what's up. The South wasn't even lit. You and T-Top put the South on your back and brought it to the top. My nigga, you going to tell me you going to stop? I don't see T-Top stopping. He ain't stopping. Everybody just clown the fuck out of Tay Rock. He ain't stopping. So what are you stopping for? Like, come on, my nigga. We need to see what's up, bro. We need to see what's up. Yo ass better be on the next URL card. It is what it is, man. This will pass. Okay, you're going to come back. You're going to battle. Someone going, is going to have a, a nice story the same way Geechee had the line his first round with Tay Rock. Someone going to have one about you. You got to battle through it. Are you a battle rapper or not? Because this is what battle rap actually is. This is what it actually is. Same way when you battled Verb and you was talking about his mom's is gay and this, that, and the third. Those are the angles that weren't even true, but you used them. So they're going to use these angles on you, my nigga. But you can't throw in the white towel. You can't wave the white flag. No one's even talking about it no more. It's over with. I didn't even know you didn't come back. You still hiding? Come on, my nigga. You put in too much work for that, bro. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Battle your way to move. Nigga, K-Shine called you up. K-Shine is on fire. That nigga's on fire. You worrying about Mook. Sean is on fire. You better come back and battle Sean. Like, what the hell? You beat that nigga, you right back on top. It's that simple. But you just got to understand, ain't nobody going to suck your dick to get you to battle, bro. 
If that's what you waiting for, you bugging. If you think all the fans going to sign a petition to bring you back, you bugging. You just got to come back and do your thing. That's just that. You know you want to. Come on, you done turn your Twitter off and all that. Like, bro, stop it. Stop it. It's time for you to get back in your bag. You've been gone long enough. Another big card comes up. We want to see Briz on it. Fuck it. And then you got and then you on top of that, Briz, you gotta wear it. You 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 kind of was doing a whole lot. You know you was being extra. When, when you watched the re one of it, you was being extra. You was all crouched down, looking like you was digging for worms, making this wild ass face, and you wasn't even rapping. They was. So I mean, it ain't like okay. You was a model battler. Like, what the fuck? Y'all, y'all niggas is pushing it. Come on, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. You got punched. Okay, so what? You got niggas who said there was no way in hell they was going to get punched. I would still think that you took... You, you, you... I would still give you more props. At least you was in a position to get punched. You know what I'm saying? At least, like you said, you ran through the door and came back. When you could have just hauled ass to the parking lot, you could have act like you had nothing to do with it. You didn't do all that. You was wild. And that's my man. That's my you. Was, so you showed you was down. I'm just saying, come back, my nigga. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm kind of low key disappointed that you ain't come back. And now I'm gonna call you. No, I'm not gonna call you before I make this blog. I'm not. I'm a blogger. This is what I do. But you got my number. You know what happened when we spoke. I know how you really feel. You want to come back. You acting like you don't, but you really do. I'm only come back if it's for Mook or somebody. Like, what are you talking about? This niggas who put in so much work more than you and they haven't gotten Mook. So what the fuck makes you think you're going to just jump up and get him? Because of that? And maybe it would happen if, if you showed your ass some. Be, be trying. Mook might take you. You never know. But you can't just throw the book and say, I'm done with battle rap at the end of the day. And that's what I really feel like you're doing right now. And that's kind of disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Stop fucking playing. Get back in your bag, nigga. Get off that bullshit. Hey, from the fuck up. Get at me. One.